Good morning, everyone. Uh, today, inshallah, we are going to study angles relationship, which is lesson one five in your geometry book, chapter one. In angle relationship, we have our object will be, I will be able to solve angle relationship problems with questions. We can make a quick review here about the type of angles. So we studied acute angle, which is less than 90 degrees. And we have right angle, which is equal exactly 90 degrees. And we have obtuse angle more than 90 degrees. Then we have angle relationship when you are going to compound two angles together. So we have different types of angle relationship. The first one which we are going to study today is complementary angles, which is angles with a sum of 90 degrees. It is right to complement someone. Okay, it is right to complement some one. Then, in this angle, we have two angles. When you are going to add them together, the first one is 30, the second one is uh, 60, then their sum together equal 90 degrees, and we can donate it by complementary angles. Let's move to the second type, which is supplementary angles. Supplementary angles, it is angles with a sum of 180 degrees. Like this one, it's 65 and 115. When you are going to add them together, so the answer, it will be equal 180 degrees. Then remember that we have two types of angles. It is right to complement someone, which is 90, and we will uh, say that once you are going to say complement, right? So the answer, it will be 90 degrees. And you can see here the word complement, okay? If you are going to close C to make it 90, then don't forget that this one equal 90 degrees, okay? So don't uh, forget. And we have the second type, which is supplementary angles, which their sum, when you are going to add 115 plus 65, both lying in the same like, line, like a straight line. So you have supplementary, which we can close uh, the word sub, and it will be equal 180 degrees. Third type of angles is called vertical angles. When two lines intersect together, so angles are opposite of one another, always congruent. When you look at these angles together now, so angle one and angle three, they will be equal and measure. And also we have another pair. So we will start first with angle one and angle three, what else? We, they have the same measure angle two and angle four, they have the same measure. Okay, so this is vertical angles. Let's move to the next one, adjacent angles. Angles next to each other, they form a linear pair and have a sum of 180 degrees. Like what? Like one and two, like uh, one and four, four and three, three and two. Then each two lines, which they are next to each other in the same line. So we can say that those two called adjacent angles and they are linear pair. Then two and three linear pair. Also, we can say one and four linear pair. We have two and one, okay? And also we have three and four. All of this was example about linear pair. Now we have an exercise. Write and solve an equation to find X. Those two angles, 
they are complementary angles. And we said complementary means that there's some equal 90. So the first one was 3x. The second one is 45. When you are going to combine them together, it will be equal 90 degrees. So let's write the equation now. So we have 3x plus 45 equal 90 degrees. Now we have to remove 45 so we can add the additive inverse for both, which means we will subtract 45 from both sides. So I'm going to subtract 45 from left and right. Then the answer, it will be 3 x equal 45. Now we have to divide both by 3 to find the value of x divided by 3 for both two sides, then x equal 15. Now we have to back because he's looking for the value of x, then the value of x was 15. Then 3 uh, uh, x means 3 times 15 plus 45 it will be equal 90. This is to be sure that your answer was correct. So we have 90 and we have 90. Let's move to the next pair. In this question, we have two angles. When you are going to add them together, so the sum should be equal 180 degrees. They are linear pair and lies in the same line, which means their sum will be equal 180. Let's write the equation. So it will be x plus 5 plus 120. It will be equal 180. So we can combine the like term together, which is 5 and 120. It will be 125. Then x plus 125 equal 180. We will subtract 125 for both, then x equal 180 minus 125, then the value we will cancel, then the value of x, it would be equal 55 degree. If you want to check your answer, you are going to back, then you will replace x by 55 plus 5 plus 120, so the answer will be equal 180 degrees. Because as I said, this one at the beginning was a linear pair, which means their sum should be equal 180 degrees. Then we studied complementary angles, and the second example was about supplementary angles. One more question, and we said that this one is vertical angles. Once you have two lines intersect together, then the both two opposite angles are equal in measure, and we said that this one is called vertical angles. So we can note here that we have two lines intersect, which means you can write the equation together, then the two opposite angles are equal in measure, then we have to write the equation 3, uh, 37 equal 7x minus 5. Now we have to remove an absolute value. Then we will subtract 5 from the both two sides. We will add 5 and add 5. Then 7x, it will be 42 equal 7x. We will divide both by 7, then x equal 6. OK, if you want to replace 2 check your answer, then 37 equals 7 times 6 minus 5, it will be equal 37. Then the both two sides, the first one was um, 37 and the second one already, it was 37, which means both two sides were the same, then it was correct. Let's, this one 37 and this one equal 37. Let's move to the next question. What do you notice here in this question? I have a pair of angles, but they are in the same line. It wasn't intersect. It's already two intersecting lines, but it's in the same line. So we have another relation, which is linear pair and should be equal 180 degrees, which means now we are going to subtract 116 because it's additive inverse of 116. 
we will cancel 116 minus 116, so we have four, and then four X, it will be equal 64. We will divide it both by four, then X will be equal 12. Okay, 64 divided by 64 divided by four, six divided by four equal one, Time four equal four, so we have 24. So it will be equal six, then it's 16. 16 times four, then x equal 16. If you want to check your answer, then you will back and write four times 16. It will be equal, uh, uh, plus sorry, uh, 116. So the answer it will be equal 180 because we were working already on a linear pair. So as I said, we have different types of relations between angles. We start here to, to make check six plus four, eight, zero. So they, their answer equal 180 degrees because this one is called linear pair. Okay, so 64 on this side and I have the other one is uh, uh, was 160. So we can continue with the rest of exercise, like for the first one, as I said, this one was 20 plus 2x should be equal 90 degrees because this one is complementary angles, right? And don't forget that when you want to talk about complementary angles, here we said that we will use complementary angles. So this means that it's equal 90. 90 degrees right so this one is 90 degrees but with vertical so this is 90 degrees and here in this one i have already two lines intersect so if i'm going to draw the line here for this one so this is the first sorry this is the first line and we have the second line. So the both two lines intersect at a point here at the middle, then the two vertical angles should be equal and measure. And then we are going to solve the equation, which is 145 equal 10 X plus 20. And then we are going to find the value of X and then we will back to replace. So this is was uh, angles relationship, as I said, uh, lesson one five in our geometry book. Thank you. See you in the next video, inshallah.